Do you need an animated progress bar on your website? If that's the case, watch this video. Hey folks, I'm Asran. I'm known as Khatak Dev on the internet and I make videos on web technologies. In this video, we are going to talk about how to make your own animated progress bar using just CSS. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to use CodePen for this. So let's start coding. Um, all right, so what we are going to make here is for that, we just have to make some uh, very, very few lines of uh, HTML code. So the first thing is I'm gonna make a div container here and I will name this loader. And within this loader, I'm going to make all of my rest, rest of my div containers. There are going to be just two more containers. Uh, this main, this div container is going to be the background uh, serving as the main body of that load, loader. And then I am going to have two more tags here but before that let me just make sure that everything that i'm adding uh, out of my html is centered vertically as well as horizontally on the code pad so that um, it looks nice so what i'm going to do is here here is for now i'm just gonna add loading uh, just to make sure that i can see the text and then i can vertically or horizontally align this and then here i'm gonna make my um, html um, as display flex and then the next thing is i will justify the content to center and then align the items to the center now this align items does not work and that's because i have to give the HTML some height so i'm gonna give it a height of 100 vh for those of you who are not sure what is vh vh basically means view height so it um, it's the total available height so in this case 100 vh is from this section up to this section all right so now everything is uh, centered the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to remove this and I'm gonna add another div container here and I will call this progress bar and this is going to be uh, acting as the progress bar I have um, just in empty progress bar and then inside this I am going to add another um, div container and this is going to act as the completed bar so the line that will show up um, so this is going to be that one and then here i am going to add some css here for the uh, for the loader so the first thing is i'm gonna give it some height and width so i will give it a height of uh, maybe 60 pixel and then width of 450 pixel all right and then I will for now I, I will just give it a background of green just to make sure that it um, it shows up and then once I'm done with the whole styling I'm gonna change the uh, I'm gonna change the background to the white okay the next thing is I'm will add a box shadow because we were going to make this white so that um, if we have the box shadow it will show up even if it's white we will be able to see it so for the box shadow I'm gonna make it two pixel on the x-axis Two pixel on the y-axis and uh, 10 pixel of blur and then i will add a black color with some opacity so for the black i need to have zero 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 and then i will add opacity of just 30 percent all right so now you can see um it has a shadow and then i will change the color back to white perfect now i will uh add some border ra radius here so it looks a little bit nice and that's almost it maybe i can add margin uh, and i will add top and bottom 20 pixel and left and right zero pixel okay so that's almost it for the loader now let's get to the progress bar so progress dash bar and one other s here okay so what I have to do here is I have to make sure that it's uh, centered here horizontally and vertically. But before that, let me actually code this. Let me actually add this and then I can uh, align this horizontally and vertically. So this should be 100%. And the reason I added this inside the loader is that when I give this 100% of width, it should be 100% of this loader. So it makes my, it makes my job easy. And then the same goes for the completion bar. If I make this 100%, so it will be 100% of the progress bar. So I don't need to worry about um, 
how how much i i don't need to add it in pixels so if i do it in uh, if i do it in percentages it will automatically fix that okay so i have now width here the next thing is i will add a height and um, i will add a height of 10 pixel and then a background color so for the background color i'm gonna go with the purple and uh, the hex code i'm using here is a to 9 b f e okay so this is the color now um two things here actually multiple things here first thing is i'm gonna make this border radius 50 pixels so i have curved radiuses and now i have to um center this so for to center this i am going to make the loader um, display flex and then i will simply center this by using justify content center line content center i am waiting for this to work uh flex box justify content oops this should be align items okay so now we have the center uh this still does not look very good i it, it should have like some padding here so i'm going to add up uh, i'm going to add padding right after the margin and i will make it 20 pixel on each side and zero pixel on top and bottom Ooh, i just did the opposite i will make zero pixel on top and bottom and 20 pixel on left and right awesome now you see you just noticed that when i added the padding it increased the total uh, width of the loading bar of, of this whole con uh, this whole loader container which i don't want i just want this uh, progress bar this progress bar to be adjusted so for this what i'm going to do is i am going to um, make this loader have a have a property here that is uh, box sizing border box so this is a property uh let me just quickly check if i added this yes yeah so when i added this you can see the um the weight of the box is uh of the order is adjusted and it's again back to uh 450 pixel so when i was adding padding uh it was adjusting itself according to the padding but now when i'm adding padding it's not adjusting the loader rather it's adjusting the progress bar so if i add some more padding here uh, you will see that the progress bar will be adjusted so this is a very useful property uh, which is box sizing border box okay now we have this progress bar um, the next thing is to add that um, the completion bar so for that i will start this um, for this my background is going to be slightly dark purple and um, the color that I have is uh, 6C5CE7. Yep. Okay. So now, uh, once I'm done with this, I will add a width of uh, maybe 50% just to show you how it works. And then height of um, 100%. So 100% means this is going to be the total height of the progress bar now one more thing if you notice here that is uh, if I zoom in a bit here so this side is curved but this side is not curved that is because this side has the progress bar um, th this is the progress bar which has the border radius 50 pixel but this is not the progress bar this is and this what we are seeing here is the completion bar so an easy fix for this is to simply add overflow hidden in the progress bar okay so we have this now set up and um, depending on how much width i give it uh, completes the progress bar that looks awesome now one more thing is i'm going to make this in the dark uh, as well for the dark mode um, so for that what i'm going to do here is um, let me actually shift my settings to this okay now what i'm going to do here is let me first close this uh, javascript site because i don't need this and then the next thing is i will add two more classes here loader dash white and uh, this will have a background color of white and then loader dash black um, this will have a background color of not exactly black but something 
similar to black i am kind of like mix of silver and, and black um so four nine four nine four nine uh okay now i'm gonna copy this i'm gonna paste it again and i will call this loader dash white and i will call this um, loader dash black and uh, it did not work so let's see what exactly is happening uh yeah so i have this style here i have to remove this and then it will work perfect now it's working and we have the bar uh, we have the uh, box shadow so even if this is like completely black it will still also uh, be visible bigger thanks to this box shadow that we have okay now we are done with the uh with the animation uh, with the loader now let's talk about the animation so for the animation i'm going to make a custom animation and uh for custom animation if you're not sure how to make custom animation there is a keyword that you use for the animation that is known as keyframes and then you name your animation so i'm going to make name this progress um so the thing is i have to adjust it i have to adjust the width um, so depending on the width, if the width is 100%, it will be a complete animation. It will be a complete, a completed loading bar. If it is a uh, 50%, that will be half of the total, etc. So I'm gonna add a uh, width here. So initially, uh, I'm gonna make this initially one pixel, so that I have like, some progress here, as you can see here. And uh, then in the progress and the animation, I'm gonna. Uh, and do some styling here so i will make this uh let me zoom in a bit for, i'm not sure if this is exactly if this is perfectly visible but yeah uh okay so initially this should be one pixel uh, one one percent and then i'm gonna copy this and i will uh make one again at 30 pixel and then 50 pixel 50 percent and then 60 percent um i know all of these width are one person i'm gonna fix this in just a second and then 100 percent all right so at 30 percent i'm gonna make this uh maybe 20 percent so that's like a slow transition from one to 30 percent and then at the 50 i'm gonna make this 50 percent and then at 60 i'm gonna make it again a little bit slow by doing it 55 percent and then again a smooth transition by doing 100 percent here all right um now i have the animation here i will just simply add this in the completion bar so for that i will uh what i will do here is i will do animation and i'm gonna give it a name and uh, this name should match with this name and then the ne next thing is i will add uh, the timing so i'm gonna make this seven second and then this should have uh, this should be linear and the next thing is it i it should be forward so forward means that once it is completed it stays in that position i mean once it's 100 percent it stays as 100 percent it does not be set back to one percent so as you can see here maybe if i make this five percent um let's see what happens now so if i make this five percent um you can see the animation goes slowly up to 30 percent and then it speeds up um up to 50 percent and then again it slows for uh for 10 uh for a very small amount of time and then it again speeds up um let me again show it to you so it slows and then at 30 percent it speeds up at 50 percent to 55 percent and it again slows and then from 55 to 100 it again speeds up all right so that is uh, a simple animation so that is an animation that you can use in your websites so that's it for today if you have liked this video uh, please give it a thumbs up and share it in your circle and make sure that you subscribe to the channel i make videos on web technologies so see you in another video have a good day